Welcome to my first attempt at doing an online video tutorial. The purpose of this video is to do a really basic introduction to the Windows command prompt. So I'm just going to be going over some very basic information and then I'm going to demonstrate a couple of commonly used commands. So first of all, let's get to the command prompt. There are a few different ways to access it. Um, one of the ways is to simply go to um, Accessories at the Start menu and find command prompt there. But it's much faster and uh, you look much cooler if you simply go to the search button and type in CMD. Once you hit enter, it will automatically pull up the command prompt window for you. So one of the most basic commands um, for the command prompt is the CD command. CD stands for change directory, so it's simply a way of moving around to different folders. If you type CD backslash in, it will take you to the root directory. So here I typed in cd backslash and it took me to the root directory, which in this case was my C directory. You can also use the cd command to move to a specific folder. So for example, if I wanted to move to my cartoons folder over here, I would type in cd and then the full path to the folder. Now, um, the command prompt is absolutely unforgiving when it comes to spelling errors. If you misspell anything, it will not work correctly. Um, however, lower, upper and lower case letters um, can be interchanged and that's all fine. So if it's a very long one, sometimes I like to simply copy and paste the information. So I'm going to come in here and copy the full file path name. And one of the unfortunate things is you can't do the keyboard shortcuts of Control V, Control C uh, within the command prompt window. However, you do have the option of right clicking and uh, you can paste in there. So in this case, I've pasted that full path. I hit enter. There we go. It has moved, um, it has moved me to that path there. You can also go to a specific map drive by simply typing in the drive letter. In this case, I do have um, a thumb drive attached to my computer, so it, and it's uh, the E drive. So if I want to map out to that, I simply type E colon, and it's going to take me to that E drive. So now that we've kind of seen how to move around a little bit within the command prompt, what we want to do is actually run a command that may be of some use. Now to um, run a command, there's, um, understand that there are basically three different parts to running a command. The first of it is the command itself, the second is the parameter, and then the third part are various switches. You don't necessarily have to have all of those in there to run a specific command, but just kind of know that those are the different options that you can move. So let's take the idea that we want to find out exactly what is on this thumb drive here. Well, there's a command called um, dir, which is short for directory, and it pulls up all the information for what's in that specific directory. Now here you can see everything that is on that top level of the E drive by simply typing in dir. However, it just does this top level. If we want to go into each of these folders recursively and find out all of the information inside of those, there's something else we have to do. Another good thing to know when you're using the command prompt is how to access the help file. So in this case, we're doing the dir command. So if you type in dir, then do your backslash, and then a question mark, and press enter, it will actually pull up the help file information for you. So here is some of the um, help file information. This goes over uh, the uh, format that it should be in. This includes some of the different switches. Um, here it says press any key to continue and we'll go into additional switches that you can use. In this case we're interested specifically in how to look at everything within the subdirectories. So we're going to look and use this S switch right here. To use the S switch it's pretty simple. We simply do what we did before. We type in dir and then we type in our switch which is S. And here you see it's pulling up all the information of everything that's in that directory, including all of the subdirectories. Now having all this information here is pretty nice, um, but it's within this window. Luckily, there's an easy way that you can output all of the information to a specific file. So let's say that we want to output the information to um, a file on the root of the C drive. We're going to type in dir. Then we're going to do our switch, which is S. 
then you can do this greater than sign which is going to be indicate what output file you want to send it to then you write in the full path for the output file in this case we're doing it on the root of the C drive and we're just going to call it list.txt so it's going to take all this information and hopefully put it into that list file so to see it happen we're going to come out here onto our C drive and see if it outputs the information right here for us. We press enter and sure enough a text file called list pops up. We can open it up and it has all of that information that we wanted to see inside of it. So that's kind of something that can get you started on using the command prompt. Hopefully this was um, useful to someone out there. If you want to see more please let me know. Um, any feedback is welcome. Thank you.